Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Let's see what uh, some of these uh, people have to say. Goodness me, who are these people? Who are these young men? And what are they wearing? They seem awfully jolly considering it's supposed to be the end of the world. Yeah, you know, some people uh, cry in the face of tragedy, or laugh in the face of tragedy. Woohoo, I should have known Sylv's hometown would be just as fabulous as the man himself. Hooray, we're here, so this is Sylv's hometown. Hey, I, I never thought I would end up back here. This place, Puerto Valor, this is my hometown also. Hey, but I joined the parade without telling my parents. They must have been so worried about me. But that was a long time ago. I have changed a lot since then. Perhaps they will not recognize me, eh? <laughs> Maybe not dressed up like that. You're still saying the same thing. Excuse me while I just uh, hide amongst your feathers. It's a pretty good hiding spot, though, actually, you know? That's Poppy's villa over there. You go on ahead, Alt. I need to gather my thoughts. Okie dokie. Well, this won't do, will it? This place is just like Phnom Nun. Everyone's down in the dumps. We need to get people smiling around here, and fast! Look, there they are! I I it's them, the demons I saw dancing and marching about over the s to the west! See, I told you I wasn't lying! Quake? Quainus' son? I don't know what the heck that second word was there. Who are these chicos? Miss Perry, wait! Did they come from over the to the west? Then the rumors are true! But wait, they are certainly brightly colored, just as we heard, but these are no demons. They are nice young men. How do you know they're nice? Shiver quiver. Mi madre, I am surrounded by beautiful young men. Am I in heaven? Does this mean my time has come? Oh my. None of you say- oh, no, no, you say something. Well, here we are in, drumroll please, Puerto Valor, hometown of the great Silvando, our beloved leader. This calls for a boom, boom, boom. Does it, though? Does it, though? I don't suppose you have these uh, love potions that I've heard about. Nope. Nope, you don't. Alrighty. I music of I music of Feliz. I heard the beauty of the music and came out to see. I did not expect such a vibrant sight among a sight to greet my eyes. See, I, I confess, I, I thought that we had been attacked by monsters. Of course these Chicos are not monsters. But there is something different about them, no? I do not not I do not know what it is, but the more I look at them, the more happy I feel inside. Well, that's good, I guess. I'm so glad we came to Sylv's hometown. I just love it here. Every part of me is dancing inside and out. Uh, sir, you might wanna might wanna go find a bathroom. Turn that frown upside down. The parade's in town. The soldiers of smile are here to smite sadness and massacre misery. Maybe not use that kind of uh, phrasing. Strap yourselves in. It's going to be one heck of a ride. It's them, my saviors. I was attacked by monsters off to the west of here, but then I was rescued, and these are the people who rescued me. That was a while ago now, but they're still just as fabulous as I remember. Not exactly sure what she's doing with her hand there, but... Actually, you know what? Did I ever go into this house? I do not remember going into this house. Which might just mean that there was nothing in here, but, uh... Alright, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have been in here. Okay, I just don't remember this building. I can hear music coming from outside. Is there a fiesta happening, senor? Uh, you, you could say that. You can definitely say that. Okay, it was just, uh, there, there just wasn't much memorable in there then.
Well, hello there, young man. Now I know that times are hard, but that's no excuse to be neglecting your wardrobe. I mean, you mustn't forget those armor and accessories out there that can give people a totally new look. Even more so if they rock them as a set. I'm a big believer that a sharp outfit is the key to a sharp mind, and heaven knows we could all use a bit of mental clarity. So don't forget to make sure you look fabulous! Why are you not joining the, the uh, Soldiers of Smile, sir? Uh, you know there's, uh, there's like dancing and stuff going on up there. I, I think my ears are becoming strange. I am sure I can hear cheerful music coming from the direction of the town gates. Yeah, go over there and t check it out. You might, uh, might find it, uh, enjoyable. I will take the maiden's favor. Howdy, sir. The sea here in Puerto Valor is, was always so blue, so beautiful, but since the fall, it is dull and dirty. I have not seen a single fish since, it, since that day, senor. Well, they might all be hiding in Nautica. Hopefully Nautica is, like, not actually fallen. Fallen? Um... As long as the queen's alive, I'm, I'll be happy. There seems to be a lot of noise coming from near the sea gates. Caramba, I wonder what is happening. We should go out and take a look. Alright, I don't feel the need to go into all the buildings. I just like... <laughs> no, please! No, por favor, please do not kill me! Come on, cheer up! Wow, these buildings are so beautiful! Don Rodrigo woke up a while ago, and seems to be feeling better. Y you can meet with him now, I think. But first, I must warn him about the strange chicos who have just arrived in town. They do not look like bad people, but it is best that he knows. I'll go tell him. Don't worry. I can do it. Yeah, Toma! We do not know when the monsters will attack us. See? We caballeros should be training harder than ever now. I intend to become strong enough to protect everyone in Puerto Valor, and I intend to do it soon. I will not rest until I am ready. Yeah, but you're, you're just hitting battered armor there, sir. Knock, knock! Don Rodrigo is awake at last. Don Rodrigo has been sleeping off his injuries, but he is awake now. We are all very relieved. Finally, some good news from Puerto Valor. But I am hearing much noise and commotion from outside. Is there something untoward happening? No. No. Muy bien. Then it must be only my imagination, or perhaps my heart thumping with relief. Alright. I mean, it's not exactly untoward. Que, a parade has come to town to put a smile on everyone's face. Mm, bien. That does not sound like anything to worry about. Well, I mean... Still might be. Buenos dias, senor. Don Rodrigo appears to be feeling better today. Indeed, I believe he is awake at the moment. You will find him in his room. Please feel free to enter. I am sure he will be delighted to grant you an audience. In the meantime, I had better go and investigate the cause of all the commotion outside. Yeah, you might want to do that. Knock, knock! This is our first time seeing him. Don Rodrigo, it is I, Hendrik. It has been too long. I, I'm a guy that you've never seen before, but I'm awesomer. Uh, uh, huh? Hendrik? <laughs> How many years has it been since you completed your training, huh? Come closer, caballero. <laughs> Let me see your face. I see where Silvando gets the uh, sideburns. Oh, it's caballero, not caballero. Oops, my bad. I don't, I don't know Portuguese, Spanish, whatever version they're doing. I have heard many tales of your exploits. Hmm. 
Did you hear about the times that he fought me? That the great lump of meat who came to me all those years ago is now the hero of Eliador. <laughs> lump of meat, huh? Wonder if he tastes like ham. I mean, um, um, uh, he may be the hero of Heliodor, but I'm the hero of the world. I had not expected to find you in such good spirits, my lord. As one who owes everything to your kind offices, it pleases me greatly. Alas, there has been precious little cause for mirth since last we met. Dundrasil fell, then Yggdrasil, and now the Lord of Shadows roams the land. Um, there, there's, there's a cause for mirth outside right now. Don Rodrigo and I have much to discuss. Perhaps you could go and fetch Silvando while we talk. Uh, no? N n no? I'm... I'm not going anywhere. Uh, other than over here. Hello. A vial of finescence. I will take that. Nothing! Get better stuff, Don. What? Ald finds a recipe book entitled Platinum Plating. He takes a look inside. Ald learns how to make pieces of platinum headgear. Ald learns how to make suits of platinum mail. Sounds pretty good, actually. Hello. It is such a relief. Que alivio. Don Rodrigo was badly injured and unable to leave his bed, but then suddenly he woke up. I have not seen him speak with such energy or passion for a long time. He must be very happy to see Don Hendrick once again, no? I don't know. The Lord of Shadows, see? D Hendrick tells me that he... that you and he s seek to defeat the Lord of Shadows together. You have done well to make it here. The journey cannot have been easy. Eh, I'm overleveled, so it wasn't too bad. You must rest here in Puerto Velo before continuing on your way. It may not be the most exciting of towns, but I can promise you a warm welcome. I mean, I've been here before. Prior to entering the Heliodorian army, I undertook my nightly training here in Puerto Valor under Don Rodrigo's tutelage. I owe him a great deal. If you do not mind, I would like to speak with him in private. Perhaps you could search for Silvando while we talk. He must be here in town somewhere. Yeah, I mean, he should be back at the gates unless he's moved. It has been a long time since I saw Don Rodrigo so enthusiastic. Seeing Don Hendrick again has brought him great joy, I am sure. Natura Lamente, I, as his butler, Don Rodrigo's happiness is my uh, ultimate priority. Um, isn't something else like taking care of his affairs a uh, slightly higher priority, at least? I pray that his fine mood will aid him in his recovery. Alrighty. Fruit. Yum. What do we got there? Some apples or some pears. Um, those look like potatoes in the back. A pineapple. Uh, someone else can have a pineapple. Maybe some uh, grapes or figs. Or dates or something. I don't know. Those are probably supposed to be bananas, but uh, they look like potatoes because they... Appear to have eyes. Maybe they're just bruises. Alright, where did he go? Alright, old. Looking for Silva, are you? Oh, I think he went down that big staircase that leads to the sea. He had a proper face on him, too. Dead serious. Not like the Silva I know at all. Reckon you should probably go and check on him. Make sure he's alright, you know? Alrighty. Well, it's not hard to see him. Feathers sure do stand out. Silvando, come on. Hurry up so you can get back in my party. Oh, hey, honey. I guess they sent you to fetch me, huh? Yup. It's so silly, I know. Here I am, happy to go put my neck on the line in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. Uh-huh. And yet the thought of facing Poppy... Makes me want to run away screaming. Yeah, I, I don't get it either. Seeing that boy and his father in Phnomnon made me think I could do it. That I could finally face him. 
but now I'm here, I... I'm so scared. Oh, we just need to get some booze in you or something. You've heard what happened with me and him, I guess. Vaguely. I'm just gonna, you know, Maybe motion my hands you at you. <laughs> it all seems so far away now. Even before I could walk, I was training to be a knight, you know? No, I didn't know, but okay. I would stay in Puerto Valor and follow in my father's footsteps. Then one day, the circus came to town. Wait, you mean you literally ran away to join the circus? I thought that was like an after effect. It was so, so fabulous. I can't even describe it. It was love at first sight. I'm still shocked that you literally ran away to join the circus. I knew from the second I walked into that tent that I'd found my calling. Getting up on that stage and making people happy, that was the life for me. And then you went and joined me. I don't know why. I mean, you weren't exactly on a stage anymore. But Papi, he wasn't so keen. A few plates got smashed the night I broke the news to him, let me tell you. Well, you shouldn't have tried to sh spin the plates on top of the, the, the poles before you were ready. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. Oh, no. This was my calling. To make the whole world happy. I would be a knight in smiling armor. I don't think armor smiles. <sighs> he didn't have anything to say to me after that. That was when I knew that I had to go and prove to him that I meant what I said. So I left. And I haven't seen him since. It's kind of hard to prove to him what you said if you don't see him again after that. Ah, <sighs> dear me. That got a bit long and emotional, huh? Nah. But it's made me feel a whole lot better. In fact, yes. Let's do this. You, you know, I wasn't actually paying that much attention to what you were saying earlier. Just so you know. It's now or never. Let's go pay Papi a visit. Okay, let's go zoom somewhere else. Is he going to be following? Yes, he is following me. Excellent. Do I have Hendrik in the party? I do technically have Hendrik in the party. Yep, yep. S Silvando, you're in my way. I wonder if this guy will say anything. Ah, you are the brightly dressed hombre from before, no? These gates lead to Don Rodrigo's villa. All are allowed to enter, but all guests must be... must behave appropriately, see? Uh-huh. Oh, you know what? You know what? I gotta do something. I gotta do something. Nope, wrong thing. Yeah, there we go. Let's be fabulous together! My, my feathers aren't as big as Silvando's, though. I guess it's not the size that matters. Oh, y you with the feathers! You must leave! Undali, Don Rodrigo's villa is no place for suspicious characters such as you. Um, w w I had no idea he would make a comment about feathers. Uh, so, uh, just kind of want to say, which one of us, sir? <laughs> Same old Gonzalez, eh? Well, sorry, honey, but you don't scare me. I knew you back when the sight of a spot of blood was enough to send you crying for your mommy. Come on, how do you know my name? And I bet you're still petrified of little squeaky mousies too, huh? I remember the time you accidentally picked up picked one up instead of a brush. <laughs> oh, darling, you look the look on your face was priceless. No, it's impossible. Surely, surely you are not. Can I get a good view? No, I can't really get a good view on on what's going on here. Oh, okay. There we go. Ah, no, nope, oh, he disappeared. So the pennies finally dropped, eh, lover boy? You have come back. I, I thought I would never see you again. Aye, aye, aye. 
Es un milagre, a miracle. I'm so flattered to hear it. Sorry to leave you all on your lonesome for so long, honey. Now, you don't mind if I have a little look around the old place, do you? Como no, of course not. Please, this is your home. Look around as much as you like. Alright. In we go. I feel I feel kind of bad wearing this outfit uh, here. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, You're taller than... Well, okay, at least the feathers do kind of make you... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> better able to hide, but still. Do you recognize your son? Caramba! Oh, uh, now you do. Not no bearable. standing on the beds. You dare to show your face in my presence, and you have come to tell me something. See? Your name is Norberto. I guess I kind of understand why you changed it to Silvando. Also, uh, sir, you no, no standing on the bed. That, that's that's inappropriate. I, I'm so sorry, Papi. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, so sorry. Just stand up to your dad. Jeez. Sorry? <laughs> What are you apologizing for, foolish boy? Huh? It's kind of you my reaction. You have succeeded in making the world smile. See? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> I mean, the world's kind of uh, in a bad place. Yet, Papi. Uh, then why are you here? Hmm? Why did you come back if you have not yet done as you promised? You said you would do it, Norberto. You said you would make everyone happy. I did not raise you to be a failure. How dare you come to me and... Uh, sir, don't shout. I mean, this is totally not a shouting matter. Puppy! Y you can go hug him, it's fine. Damn you, boy. If I were younger, I would put you over my knee. That would be child abuse, kind sir. Kind of a knight makes an oath and does not fulfill it. Wait. Puppy, did you say night? You still think of me as one? Oh, you have no idea how... Oh, thank you, Puppy. Thank you. I guess it wasn't very knightly of me to come back before I'd fulfilled my promise, huh? But I had a good reason. I don't think your promise is actually fulfillable. Mm -hmm. The Lord of Shadows. See? See, how can I make people happy if he is there making their lives miserable? It is impossible. Well, right, which is why we go stab him in the face. Which is why I'm going to beat him. No, I'm going to beat him. Only then can I fulfill my vow and make all the people of the world smile again. I mean, I'll let you tag along. I don't, I don't have a problem with that, but I'm going to be the one to beat him. Even if someone else lands a killing blow, it's, it'll still be me. <laughs> Careful, boy! Do not promise to defeat Mordegon if you do not truly intend to do so. I will not have you break another oath. Of course, Papi. A knight's word is his bond. You taught me that. But there's just one teensy weensy little thing I need to ask you to do to help. I've picked up a few friends on my travels. They're kind of young and kind of innocent. They need a role model, you know? Someone to lead them. <laughs> you do not even need to ask, Norberto. A knight serves the weak untiringly. Or have you forgotten the pledge? Well, I mean, you do kind of need to ask just so that the person in question knows what they're expected to do. 
I mean, you can't just, like, drop them off here and say, oh, yeah, yeah, he, he'll, he'll over there, he'll take care of them, take care of you, uh, but there's no need to even go mention it to him. That's silly. <gasps> oh, Poppy, really? Come on, Norberto. Of course, it would be my pleasure. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest, kindest father a boy could hope to have? Oh, darlings! Come oh my lord! Your Theo Rodrigo! How did they all hear you? Um. <laughs> oh god. Oh, what a lovely bedroom. It's so big. I'm scared. <gasps> Does oh, give me hope that there's going to be a dad, uh, a spell of some sort. Awfully manly. I'll feel safe with you looking after me, Mr. Rodrigo. It's not at all creepy. Norberto, <laughs> <laughs> explain yourself. What is the meaning of this? Uh, isn't that what you just promised? You're you're not gonna explain yourself? Now, Papi, let's just pop this on. You are a terrible, terrible son, Silvando. Get your hands off of me! Isn't your dad recovering from an injury? You just had a spare one laying around? Hurts your foolishness, boy! I did not agree to this! He, he's right there, Silvando. Oh, don't be like that, Papi! How can you lead my little band of boys if you don't look the part, huh? You promised! You're terrible. And didn't you always teach me that a knight's word is his bond? Huh? I don't think that he meant that, though. <laughs> well then, let's see what everyone has to say. I just love what they've done with the place. I never knew Silv grew up in a big posh mansion. Lucky so and so. That must be why he grew up into a big posh man. Hee <laughs> hee. What a man. Isn't Silv's dad just fabulous? He's so manly and strong. We're so lucky we get to meet him. So it is settled, Noberto. I will take care of your curious little amigos, and you will go take care of the Lord of Shadows, see? Oh, Poppy, of course. I'll defeat Mordigan and. Give the world its smile back, don't you worry. Still you like to make the bold claims, eh, Norberto? Bien. Return to me once you have defeated Mordigan. We will see if your actions live up to your words. I just knew Sylv's dad would be lovely. Sylv's dad doesn't know the first thing about us, but he welcomed us into his home with open arms. You can't get much more open-hearted or open-minded than that. It didn't seem like years since Sylvan and his dad had last seen each other, did it? Seemed more like five minutes. <laughs> That's family for you. Look at the size of this place. There's so much room in here. More than enough to swing a cat. Or strike a pose. What? Why would you be swinging cats? We could do our dance practice in here. That's bound to make Sylv's dad feel better. I don't know about that. Magnifico. Muy bien. Sylv's papi looks fabulous in his carnival costume. It is obvious where Sylv got his sense of style. Norberto is back after all these years away, and he brought a whole bunch of his friends. You know, even my parents, I think, would have an issue with that. And, and they're pretty laid back about such things. I do not know the whole story, but I know that Don Rodrigo is happy, and that is the most important thing. Hurrah! Oh my lord. <laughs> Just 
poof, right feathers in my face. Senorito Noberto, I had hoped you would be able to spend more time with us, but it seems you must depart right away, see? Oh, Cervantes, I'm, it must have been so hard for you looking after Poppy all these years, but you're going to have to do it for just a little longer. I'll go take out the Lord of Shadows and I'll be right back, okay, honey? Como no, senorito. I keep wanting to say senorita. Noberto, of course. We will be eagerly awaiting your return. I hope you will forgive my presumptuousness, but I have missed you a great deal. Well. Out we go. Do you like that, boss? I composed it especially for Silv's dad. Oh my. Is Silv actually in the party? No, he is not. Okay, what's going on? Senorita, Senorito Noberto, do you, do you know who these people are? Don't worry, Gonzales, honey. These are just a few pals of mine. Poppy's agreed to let them stay for a while. You'll play nicely with them now, won't you? See, si, uh, of course. I do not know the details of the situation, but I will do anything I can to help your friend, Senorito. Ooh, talk about glamorous. Do you know who this is in the picture, boss? She's gorgeous. She looks a little bit like Silva, actually. Does she? Does she? I don't know. Quite remarkable, oh yes. How are you speaking with you when you're playing the flute? What a wonderful villa. It must have cost a pretty penny. Though it is vulgar to think about such things, of course. It's nearly time to say goodbye to Sylv. I just realized that you have a ponytail. I almost don't want to. But if he's off to defeat the Lord of Shadows, then it's our job to cheer him on. Oh, I'm used to say goodbyes. Yahoo! This room is huge. Imagine the games you could play in here. And there's plenty of space for dancing, too. I don't think I'd ever get bored if I lived here. Alright. So, are you going to join with me? Yes, good. I don't have enough tissues for this. Listen to me, soldiers of Stop smile. hiding me. You serve my puppy now. You must do as he says. Do not fail me. S stop, stop hiding me. <laughs> Please, Sylv, don't go! Don't leave us! <laughs> oh, darlings, it breaks my heart to say goodbye. Truly, it does. But we have to be strong. As soon as Mordegon is defeated, I'll be right back with you. I'll be home before you know it. You'll see. Um, not the way that I play this game. Hmm? <laughs> And no matter how far I go, no matter how hard it gets, I'll always be with you. Always. Oh, Sylph, we'll be with you too. Just say the words and we'll come running. Yes, yes, he's gonna get it. Please, please, please let him get a spell that lets him summon them. Silvando can now use the Hit Parade pep power. Why is it a pep power, damn it? I don't want it to be a pep power. I want it to be a regular spell. You know we're going back in to play the casino, right? Where's your boat, anyway? Thanks so much for all your help, darling. I'm all yours now, I promise. Oh my. Silvando rejoins the party. About dang time, too. The salty stallion is all yours, too, of course. She's anchored off to the east of here. Finally! Thank you. Before we set sail, might I suggest that we go north to Mount Pang Lai? 
The fate of those who dwell there is said to be linked with that of the luminary. I, I know. We were going to do that. I just need to get more party members. <clears throat> and I'm going to need to play the... Uh, play the pokies. Pokies? Poker? I don't know. What would that be called? Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, change my outfit. Um, that was just for a uh, while. I was... Uh, Doing that. Where is my... Nervous stays right. The best. There it is. And Silvando has a Marty Garb of his own. So... Okay, so... Alright, it just makes us look... You know, different look for both of us. Got it. Alright. Um, let's see. I need to sort by type. Um, yeah, we'll take the uh, Dragon Tail Whip and you can go ahead and have the uh, Papillon Mask. Agility Gillet would not be better for on defense. Really good agility, though. Cloak of Evasion, Dapper Doublet. I could get you into the... Um, this is not, like, actually in order, is it? King's Coat. Let's see if there's anything uh, better. Real fast... Nope, not really. All right. And then uh, the Naughty Cravat is pretty good. Yeah, it gives them a whole bunch of good things, so keep that on. And... I think I'd kind of like to boost up your damage. Oh, actually, no, Bunny Tail, so we get better stuff from uh, enemies that we fight. All right, but um, I am going to uh, go ahead and play the uh, casino a bit more. I suppose I really should play the slots some as well, but... Oh, hello. Es una disgracia. It is a disgrace. Por favor, amigo, please listen to this tale of woe. A monster known as the Night Aberrant is haunting the eerie Irie. He was once a noble caballero, but was somehow transformed into a monster. His sense of knightliness has disappeared completely, and he commits the most wicked acts. It's terrible. Someone must put an end to the evil ways of this disgrace to chivalry and restore the reputation of caballeros everywhere. It would not be easy, of course, but there is a certain pep power that I am sure would be useful to put him in his place. Ah, oh, poop. You appear to have something of the caballero about you, friend. Would you be willing to confront the so-called knight and smite him in the name of justice? Uh, sure. When night falls, the old man wants you to help restore a fallen knight's sense of pride. A knight's word is his bond, after all. We will get a metal slime shield. Is this a metal king shield? Or is this like a lesser item? And uh, Lolical pops out wearing uh, the exact feathery outfit that Silvando was and says, You'll accept that quest? Uh, yes, yes, Lolical, we will accept that quest. Ochos gracias, friend. Now the pep power that. You will need to use to put this knight aberrant in his place is called a rise. It must be performed by three able swordsmen. Bring two such warriors with you to the Eerie Irie and unleash merry hell. Vamos, amigo. You must make the knight aberrant pay the price of, for breaking the promise of the pledge. All accepts uh, the N When Night Falls quest. Okay, so I am guessing that that is uh, a pep power between Ald Hendrick and Silvando. Which is going to be a little bit di difficult to uh, get off at this time. I think once I get more people in my party, especially if I could get six, I would do it. Okay. Uh, arise. Yep, there it is. All right. Yep, we all must be pepped up. Sends the luminary stats through the roof and enables him to enter a pepped up state all over again. 
Interesting. Hit Parade is between Ald and Silvando. Gather the gang and give your foes a show they won't forget. Alright. There's a lot that I have not done. I don't know how I'll uh, get all these going, but... What is Brownie Boost? Alright. Anyway, uh, any other quests that we can get? There's a lovely lady near the sauna in Hoto who feels that the baths there leave something to be desired. Won't you try talking to her and seeing what's up? Alright, so we'll be able to go to Hoto soon. There's a fisherman near the pier in Lonolulu who has a certain squid in his sights. Why don't you try talking to him and seeing what's up? Alright. There's a boy near the beach in Lonolulu who's worried about a fishy friend he's made. Uh, won't you try talking to him and seeing what's up? There's a woman near the harbor in Gondolia who has one last treasure to track down. Well, why don't you uh, try talking to him, seeing what's up? There's a girl in eastern Gondolia who has her heart set on a rather fantastical flower. Why don't you try talking to her and seeing what's up? Okay, so, uh, we've got uh, one in, in Hoto, two in Gondolia, two in Hoto. Uh, two, uh, one in Hoto, two in Lonolulu, two in Gondolia, and... That is probably in Pang Lai. Because it's, it's an odd missing one right there. Alright. Uh, character Builder. Silvando has uh, 39 points to spend. Um, I want to get down to... Uh, dual Wielding. Amateur drama, dramati, Dramatician. Order for activating 10 of Silvando's skill panels. See, gold Rush throws a thousand gold coins at the enemy, dealing decadent damage plenty. Increases charm, or that's a more. Alright, well, I can get this. Let's get the charm plus 40. Surprise! A bonus skill points awarded. 10 points. What luck! This panel hides a special surprise. 10 bonus skill points received. Interesting. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, pink Pirouette. A shimmy that shakes loose a shower of rose petals that can confuse all enemies. Alright. Kiss me deadly. I could get that. Sends a toxic token of, token of affection. Now, I have not actually done any of the whip ones yet, so let's go ahead and do that. On the other hand, maybe I should go with the uh, knives and start having him use knives. Now, for now, we don't have anyone else... Well, I've got Giga Slash, but... I'll get the whip stuff. So I got attack power when wielding. I could just get that. On the other hand, getting up to Metal Slash and getting the pep power piece would be good. Now, we'll work on getting that open up. And then th maybe this one. See what, what stuff that is. That is under whips. That is under swords. Alright. That's good enough. Uh, 12 points. What do you have? I am trying to get to the strength plus 20. Alright. Okay. Um, we will go ahead and uh, call it an episode here. I'll go ahead and save it. Oh, my. Fancy a quick pray, boss? You really want to pray, boss? Gosh, all right then, let's give it a go. All right, well, when we come back next time, uh, we will, uh, I will have played the slot. Actually, you know what, before I do that, hold on. Let me, uh, let's see what I want to get. So you'll know what I will what I have uh, will have picked up.
Alright, so... Wow, I got four Mercury's bandanas. I must have gotten some elsewhere. We can still get Yggdrasil leaves, which is good. Um... Isn't that what... I guess it's showing up as zero because uh, I got a Platinum Power Sword plus whatever. I do not have a Lightning Lance, although I think I may have uh, boosted one up. Okay, so, uh, Sainted Sona Soma is pretty good for some um, crafting things, so I may get a few of those extra. And then a Metal Slime Sword and a Liquid Metal Helm, I think I will try to get. Just one, though, each for now. And uh, I'll think about what else we can do. Anyway. Why is there a big coin thing? I don't remember that on the map before. All right. Well, anyway, uh, I will uh, I will do the uh, the plane off camera, and uh, when we come back next time, I will hopefully have ha gotten enough uh, tokens to do some of those things. See you then, everyone.